Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for another quick build. The winner from last week's quick build voting was in fact Elise. So we're gonna take a look at a quick build for her today. Also make sure you go ahead and vote for the next quick build down below in the description, and make sure you stick around till the end of this video because I'm gonna be doing another giveaway. Starting off with Elise's abilities, at level one we're gonna put a point into our W, which is our Spiderling or our Frenzy. What you're gonna do with that obviously is just attack faster and help yourself clear at level one. At level two, put a point into your neurotoxin or your venomous bite i mean it's the same thing can be both put points into that we're gonna actually max this ability out first then at level three put a point into your cocoon slash repel so you can get around the jungle by jumping over walls or by ganking and hitting them with that cocoon or repelling to them that way we're gonna put points into our w second max this out second put points into your cocoon repel third max that out last and then obviously you have your spider form at level one just make sure you put points into it at levels 6 11 and 16. As for the rune page that I take when I'm playing this style of Elise, what I like to do is actually take attack speed marks. We take the armor seals, they're going to help us stay beefy. Then as for your glyphs, I actually take the magic resist per level ones because this is CDR Elise is what we'll be building, so it's going to be a little bit more of a defensive Elise. And then as for my quintessences, you can do a few choices here. You can take movement speed like I do. It helps you get around the map and helps with ganks. It just makes things a little bit easier while killing people. Or you can take ability power, which is always good if you just want a little bit of damage. Or hybrid penetration marks all, or quintessences also work. As for the masteries page that I take, it is on the same vein that we're going with the whole tanky side of Elise. So what we're going to do is go with a 9-21-0 page. 9 in the offense helps us pick up a little bit of ability power and a little bit of cooldown reduction. Mostly over here in the defense, we're just going to stay beefy because cooldown reduction Elise is a beefy Elise. And that's what we're going for. Obviously, if you wanted to take more damage, just swap them. Go with the 21-9 and do that. As for the items that I like to take when I'm playing cooldown reduction Elise, at level 1 you're going to start off with the Hunter's Machete and those health pots. I like to take the Warding Totem to help stay safe at the beginning of the game. Now your first few trips back, obviously you're going to pick up that Spirit Stone, the Kindle Gem, and the first part of your boots for all that mobility. A little bit of health goes a long ways too, and this helps you stay up in the jungle. Those core items then are Spirit of the Ancient Golem. Then you pick up your Ionian Boots of Lucidity, the first part, which is the Aegis of the Legion, eventually that will become a Locket, and the Warden's Mail, which will eventually become the Omen. Now, if you really need the armor first, make sure you pick up the Warden's Mail. But you still want the Aegis, it's helpful, it does give you health and magic resist, which so far we're not building any resist there. Now... For your full build, it looks a little something like this. You have the Spirit of the Ancient Golem, you have your Ionian Boots, you have the Locket, you have the Randuins, and then I pick up a Void Staff because we haven't built any damage, but the ability power and the magic damage that's going to be ignored because, or the magic uh, resist that's going to be ignored because of her, the passive of Void Staff actually starts to make you a decent threat because you can't be killed very easily and you're going to be hurting people with that Void Staff. Now, this right here is full cooldown reduction of... Uh, capable right here because you get 10% there, you get 15% there, and you get 10% here, and you have five in your masteries. So you're going to be all set at full reduction on a lease. Now as for your final item, I actually left a space here empty because it always differs most of the time when I'm playing depending on who I'm fighting against. So as for your finishers, here are your three choices that I like. You have your Abyssal Scepter if you need more magic resist and it's just pretty helpful because you get more ability power as well and once again reduces the magic resist of the enemies that are nearby. If you need more armor right here, perfect. So here's Hourglass, you also get the stasis and a lot of ability power. And then also, another great one is Leandri's Torment. Now if it's beefier, tankier teams, you want more health and you want a little bit more AP and the passive of what Leandri's grants you with that damage over time based off of a percentage of their current health, then you can do this. Leandri's Torment works incredibly well for that. So one of those three items will usually round this out really well. If you need a little bit of both of these, then maybe you can drop out that Void Staff and pick up both of these, get a little bit more magic resist and armor. But this should work out great. It's CD are at least you're pretty tanky don't be afraid to get up in people's faces and end their lives so that's the way i like to build my cdr at least now for those of you who did stick around till the end of this video i am doing another giveaway with more phoenix gear going to be giving away another phoenix nasita and demora this is the mouse that i use love it to death things awesome it's the best mouse i've ever used and i've used razors and logitechs over the years and um this thing's just built really well quality wise so um highly suggest it check it out too if you've never seen these before by heading over to phoenixcollection.com taking a look at their products as well um what you got to do to enter into the giveaway all you got to do really simple like my facebook page like 
like their Facebook page, and then when I post a picture of the Nasita on my Facebook page as this video is released, just leave me a comment on why you would like to win the mouse, and I'll pick whoever has a pretty good response. That's what I usually do. So, go ahead, head down to the description. Everything you need to know is down there to get you set up for the giveaway. And until next time, just good luck out there on the fields of justice.